989, that's... Ah, dang it, okay. No panicking, just play better. <laughs> uh, that's a Calyrex Ice. There's also an Urshifu. I really hope it's Urshifu Water. Because that, that makes it a lot easier for Bronzong to do its thing that I have to do with it to win. Oh, wait, yo, Bronzong walls both of these things. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead off with Groudon and Eternatus, and I'm going to bring the Incineroar and the Bronzong. And I do what I do with the Bronzong to win, and that is max Steel Spike and wall everything on their side of the field. Uh, the only thing that could really throw a wrench in this is uh, Weezing, because it turns off abilities. You guys already know, as soon as the as soon as a Calyrex Ice ends up in team preview, then it's Bronzong time. That is the only reason he exists on this team. What am I what, what am I gonna use Bronzong for to improve my non-existent Xerneas matchup? When's the last time I saw a Xerneas on the ladder? Like series 10? How you doing one punch? Dialga is an interesting pick in that um, it's just like a solid attacker. Like it, it has good coverage and it just hits things with like life orb and that's it. I am Took. Thank you for the follow. Weezing with no gigas does look lonely. Yo, wheezing with no gigas. Alright, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I already know that my win con's the Bronzong, so I am literally just going to attack what's in front of me. I am just going to attack what's in front of me, and that is Dynamax cannoning this stupid Landorus. Got my white herb. Hash Ketchum, thank you for gifting the subs. I appreciate you. Alright, uh, I mean, I could Dynamax here. I'm not really in a bad spot if I do, but I think it's smarter just to go into Bronzong and try to annihilate this thing. Actually, I didn't see if the Intimidate went before Pressure. That's really bad. I should have checked. Spyra, Cloudy, thank you for the follows. Guys, we're almost at 4,000 followers. I'm 51 away. Alright. Don't be Scarf Landorus and let me one-shot you. Better yet, Dynamax the Landorus. <laughs> Please. I mean, that's, that's a timer ball, so it's definitely going to be the... Um, Definitely going to be the Dialga. I don't mind trading Eternatus for, for Landorus, to be honest. Hold up. Oh, it's weakness policy. And it's Scarf Landorus. I should have checked. Remember earlier when I said, oh, I didn't check to see if it was... Oh, that, that crit me. That crit me. I have lost my Eternatus. Okay, how do I win this? Um, I sack the Groudon and I set up Trick Room. Oh, that wasn't weakness policy. It just kind of one-shot me. Right, that, that makes Groudon better. Yeah, well, this could have gone better. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right, uh, yeah, I'm going to Trick Room here and I'm going to protect my Dawn. Yeah, that was disgusting damage for Bulldoze. That's got to be, like, adamant. <laughs> hey, Shuckle, I appreciate you tuning in for all the streams. I think they just do the same thing. Because they, they definitely don't want me to be able to annihilate them <laughs> by... Um, by just Dynamaxing.
All right, that's fine if it's if it's the Calyrex. I'm gonna go for my freaking Steel Spikes. It's wheezing. Okay. Um. Oh, they're gonna try to KO my Bronzong. They're gonna try to KO my Bronzong, aren't they? Don't have Earth Power. Don't don't have Earth. Don't. Okay, it's Max Mormon. That's fine. Whew. That's great. Okay. That did a lot. That that did quite a bit. I have to always go for this this hypnosis. I hate this game. Okay, let's go for the hypnosis. Um not unwinnable if I can land this. Sixty percent chance to win, baby. And I suppose I will Swords Dance. 60% chance to win. Says Sleep Powder's a bad move. Uses Hypnosis. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I gotta use Hypnosis if I want to beat friggin' Calyrex Ice. I don't need Sleep Powder on an offensive Pokemon. I need Hypnosis on a Bronzong that already doesn't know what, wanna, what moves it wants to run, you know? Live. Okay. Good news. Swords Dance went off. Bad news is we're at neutral. And I have another opportunity to go for a Hypnosis. But this Bronzong has to now Hypnosis this freaking Weezing. Okay. Who else is having fun? Who else is having lots of fun right now? Here's what I do. Hypnosis you, and I'm gonna sword dance because there is a non-zero chance you don't just switch in your Landorus. This thing has nasty damage up, but that's gotta be Roar Time. Okay, they switch in the Landorus on that slot. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, he was trying to predict the ally switch, which is kind of funny. I don't run that. I don't run I don't run that awful sad person move. Alright, I'm about to get Roar of Time and gonna lose my, my Furring Grout on. Unless they miss! Steel Beam? Okay, I I mean Groudon? Groudon? Hello? Thank you. Good news and bad news. I can now hypnosis this slander. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going for hypnosis. There's no other play I make here. Um, yeah, no, I, I hypnosis the Landorus and I, I start max quaking. And we know the Landorus is scarfed, so there's two turns left to trick room. Connect one hypnosis, please. Yeah, that, that's a crazy high damage output for Dialga. Steel Beam? That's scary. Let's see if I can get the come from behind victory. What's funny is, um, I don't mind Trick Room going away after this turn as long as they Hypnosis this Landorus. Alright. And I max Quake here. <laughs> you shouldn't max thing with such little HP. What am I gonna what am I gonna Dynamax? My Incineroar? No. <laughs> no chance I'm doing that. I'm at pretty much a permanent plus one, which is kinda cool. Dynamax instant equals wins. This this Bronzong perpetually at four HP. That's that's the funniest part of this match. The fact that Bronzong is just gonna remain at this stat forever. Calyrex, come in. Oh, it's wheezing. Okay. Um. Behold. Another one. I don't mind rock falling this thing. 
Bronzong, landed, 60%, activate. Go. Go, land the funny move. Hiya! Funny move, activate. <laughs> now Groudon, use your use your use your super stupid rock attack. Go. I hate this game. <laughs> oh god, it lived. Don't wake up, thank you. Don't don't wake up, thank you. All right, gamers. <laughs> um, how do we do this? How how do I how do I win this game? You might be asking. Here's how: I send in the Incineroar right now, and I go for the Max Quake onto. Actually, I think I was Rockfall the Lando. I think I was prioritize that. Don't wake up, Lando. I need you to be asleep for all three turns. <laughs> oh, God. This is such a bad game. You woke up. Bulldoze. I think that doesn't like it. Okay, Groudon lives. I have fake out next turn. I've gotten rid of the Lando. Don't wake up. I need you to not wake up, buddy. Specifically the Weezing. The Weezing can be annoying here. Okay, Weezing stays asleep. They've lost their Landorus privileges. And I've kept my Incineroar, which honestly is probably my, my key to winning here. So Weezing's been asleep for two turns. Uh, Calyrex is certainly in the back. Hi, Calyrex. Hey, Marcos, I'm gonna Glacial Lance you in the face! Okay. I have no idea how fast this thing is. All I know is my play is always to fake out in Precipice Blades and hope that the Weezing just doesn't wake up. Go, Incineroar, use your funny fake out attack. It's always funny when you click fake out because it's Incineroar, you get it? He's the funny Pokemon. It stays asleep. I just gotta connect. I just gotta connect. I just gotta connect this press with blades and then I get my intimidate and I win. That better have been the Calyrex. I am going to destroy this Incineroar. You know, that's not the end of the world to be honest. I just get out my Groudon and bring him the Bronzong and I just have to connect another one. Okay, new win con. New win con just dropped, guys. <laughs> new win con. <laughs> they don't set up trick room here because I'm slower than them. I definitely needed that intimidate. <laughs> the new win con just dropped via DLC. Oh man, this is terrifying. Actually, if they trick room, they lose, because I'm just going to Flare Blitz them. I think I have a pretty good chance of winning here. It's just, it's Groudon. It, it's Groudon, guys. It's, it's Groudon. They protect. Wakes up. Will-O-Wisp. You fool! Okay, the win con remains the same. Bronzong just perpetually at 4 HP this game. Alright, get rid of the Calyrex. I'm just gonna double target. Uh, body press probably doesn't KO, but after sand it will. Attack! Hit him! With a rock! Glacial land- oh yo, wait, I think I tanked that. Yo, yo Bronzong definitely takes those guys, he's a still type.
Okay, so Groudon should be faster than both of these guys now, and it just comes down to landing his hits. Or, if you can live... Yes! Incineroar! You're the best! <laughs> We did it. Maybe, I can still lose. Groudon's at 26 HP, which is well within Sludge Bomb range. Especially if they poison me, so... 85% chance to win, guys. I'm not even gonna... I'm gonna click it with my eyes closed. It's just... I don't wanna look. I don't wanna look. Okay, I I I I, don't, I looked. I looked, but it was fine. I won. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this game. Hey, the sun's out. <laughs> okay. No, I honestly Dynamax, you were right. Dynamax and Sin might have made this less painful. Oh, okay. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying match. I, I hardly gained any points for it. I bet you I'm like 267. 232. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. All that work for a PP up, right? Right? They got to step it up with these rewards. Pokemon Legends Wide Lens Groudon win. Yeah, so Jessica, basically, Weezing is really good next to both the Calyrexes because it literally, it, it, it only turns off certain abilities, or it only ignores certain abilities, and one of them happens to be as one for some reason. It's really crazy. So, like, one of the teams that I was working on was actually Weezing, Calyrex, Shadow, Regigigas, and Zacian. Alright, we got a battle. Okay, rank 118. We can gain some major points from this. I don't like it. Uh, this looks scary, and I don't like it. I don't even think I go Thunderous here. I think I actually just go like Incineroar, Eternatus, Groudon, Thundee. And that should do it. So no Sacred Lead. Similar to a Sacred Lead, but not quite the Sacred Lead. It takes away Unnerve, right? I believe it does. Another Dynamax one's got. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of the Ndidi, actually. Uh, that's why I let off with Incineroar, because if they end up going Whimsicott and Ndidi, I could lose on lead if I were to go with the uh, Thunderous. What's the Sacred Lead? The Sacred Lead is um, Assault Vest, Thunderous, and Choice Specs Eternatus. The one that does well versus pretty much everything, except for this. This one, it's unsafe, but it could be good. Have you promoted Route 1 this stream yet, Marcos? No, I have not. <laughs> Guys, go check out my podcast, the Route 1 podcast. See, that's that's why I let off with the Incineroar. That's why we did that, because now I have a switch in. That's why we did that. Um, what's sad is I think I actually just snarl and I let them attack Groudon because my Eternus is a lot better in this game. Where's Groudon better? Maybe I go Thundee since it is Assault Vested. I just don't want to take too much damage is the issue. Uh, Groudon can take one hit. He can take one hit. I'm going to end up Dynamaxing the Thunderous anyways, so...
Helping hand, okay. That's fine, they really wanted to get rid of Eternatus there. Luckily that damage output's now gonna be very disappointing for the rest of the game. All right, um, I want to get in my Thunderous. I want to get it in. Now. I'm going to Snarl again. They should probably Tailwind. Do I protect here? I kind of want to protect and then get in the Thundy. Because I think they're just Tailwind Expanding Force to pick it up on, Ky on the Groudon. Yeah, Tailwind Expanding Force. So now after this one, I can get in my Thundee pretty safely, if, as long as I connect on the Indeedee. If you don't know why I'm trying to preserve Grout on here... Oh, you better miss the Whimsicott. Okay. Uh, if you don't know why I'm trying to preserve Grout on here, it's literally just to set up Sun, so they have no way of beating the, um, the incoming Thunderous. I could Flare Blitz this thing now pretty safely and just get rid of it. And then get in my thunder. I'm going to do that. I don't, I don't really care to snarl here. Thundee's AV, so he just tanks it. And they give up their Whimsicott, which it already set up Tailwind. So if they do give up the Whimsicott here, that's pretty nice for me. Helping hand, awesome. So just don't crit me and I'm good. This is basically resisted. Yeah. All right, and now I Flare Blitz, and that allows me to reposition my, um... Next turn lets me position my Incineroar, or not my Incineroar, my Groudon in, to reset the sun and then go for a Max Airstream into the Kyogre. And they only have limited turns of Tailwind. Kyogre? So here's where I sack the Groudon. In the name of Thunderous being broken. No, not Max Lightning. I have to Max Airstream if I want to beat the, the Zacian in the end. Yep. And indeed he's got pitiful damage output right now. Watch the Indeedy also have Helping Hand. That'd be funny. All right, withdrawing to get in the Zacian, that's fine. Because next turn I get back in my Incineroar and lower the damage I'll put on the Zacian. Because I'm pretty much sacking the, the Grout on here, I think. Does Mail and Didi get Helping Hand? I believe it does. The thing it doesn't get is Follow Me. All right, Sun is up, freezing cold. They Dynamax, okay. If that's a water move, I'll be pretty happy. If it's an ice move, it's not as good, but it was still worth Dynamaxing here and getting the Airstream. We can gauge um, the set by the damage we do here. Next guys are awesome. That's actually so good. That did that did like nothing. That just bounced off of us. And here's the thing: that it does double the damage next turn, or no, more because the rain's up. But like it, it does only a little bit more in the grand scheme of things. All right, uh, this turn I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go for the max lightning. Uh, judging by the damage, I want to see Max Lightning KOs from this range. It might not. It might not, actually. But I think it's worth it. If I can KO the Kyogre this turn, it's huge.
Alright, let's see if I take the hit. Sacred Sword. Okay, they tried to call that. Or they, they called it, obviously, but I think it's fine if I get this KO. Like, it's probably just Gucci, you know? Alright, I live. Oh, we didn't quite get it. Okay, um, how do I do this? Tailwind, if Tailwind runs out, we're fine, but I don't know if it does, actually. Okay, Tailwind's, Tailwind's gone. We're good. We're good. Um. I get an Eternatus here, funny enough. Yeah. Yeah, I get an Eternatus here. And I am going to... I'm going to lock in Dynamax Cannon. <sighs> Do I lock in Dynamax Cannon? I'm going to lock in Flamethrower. It's a lot safer. They're probably just going to protect the Kyogre is the issue. This is so risky. Let's do this. I think they protect the Kyogre here. They didn't. Okay. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. That's not good. I really thought they were going to protect there. They're probably Scarf then. Because not protecting there isn't great. Unless I can, like, burn here, I think we lose. Ah, dang it. I just threw. I wanted to call them going for the Protect and trying to KO my my Thundee with the Behemoth Blade. Max Strike. Oh, you're kidding me. What is that move? What? They're Hyper Beam. They're Hyper Beam. What? That's got to be Hyper Beam. And what sucks is I just lost my freaking Speed Boost, dude. Which is like my only chance of winning. Technically not over, but very unlikely to win here. All right. It does not live. Dude, Hyper Beam Kyogre. Yeah, there it is. Well. That was illuminating. We just lost a Hyper Beam Kyogre. I mean, I'm not one to argue. They're like top 200, so. ZGY, I'm actually not familiar with them if they're like a content creator. Uh, Okay, yeah, the Sacred Lead's fine here. Sacred lead goes crazy, in fact. Uh, definitely Groudon, and do I go Incineroar or do I go Venusaur? I think I go Incineroar here. All right. Incineroar lead? Please? 
Aw, okay. Okay. You know, last time I did this, it lost me the game, but I'm pretty confident I can do it this time. Let's try to one-shot the Zacian. Like I said, last time I did this, it lost me the game, but I think it'll work now. <laughs> Why do I think it's gonna work now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. What matchups don't work for the Sacred Lead? Matchups I'm bad at. Um, specifically the Calyrex Kyogre matchup, I always literally just go... Um, I always just go uh, Eternatus and Groudon and wait for them to set up Trick Room with the Mimikyu or Incineroar or whatever. I basically just go for big damage turn with Groudon and, and Eternatus on that, and then I bring Bronzong and Incineroar in the back to do whatever they need to do to win the game. Oh, oh, they Dynamax something. I'm going to take the Zacian away from them. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to take that Zacian away from them, and it's going to be awesome. Yes, I could have one-shot this thing with a Dynamax cannon, but did I want to? Maybe. Was it worth it? Probably. But I didn't, so get over it. <laughs> Dynamax Garden! Be gone! <laughs> you forfeited your dog! They know what's up. They know the Eternatus. They know about the Eternatus and they respected it. Respecting it is the worst thing they could have done here. Hoggers. Okay, I have to absolutely sack my... <laughs> I absolutely have to sack my Thunders if I want to win. Or not my Thunders, my Incineroar if I want to win. Oh, yo? Yo? Maybe not. Um, maybe not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I can actually get the Thunderous in right here. And I'll get the Incineroar in right here. And here's why I'm doing this. Because I, I really hope that they didn't just go for a max airstream on my guy. That's why. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really cool if they parting shotted my guy? That's fine. As long as they max airstream into my incinerator here, we should be Gucci. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, and I can always, 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 always max lightning the Kyogre. There's no reason not to. It is morally correct. Max lightning the Kyogre. Get in the Groudon to reset the, the sun, and I think we're going to win this game. We're pogging so hard. And we're also AV, so, you know, if they want to go for a water spout, it's going to bounce off us. If they want to go for an ice beam, it's going to bounce off of us. The sun's out, so they can't freeze us. It's all good. Pathetic. Thanks for the terrain, stinky. Uh, not quite a one-shot, but I just get in my Incineroar now. Threaten a fake out and max airstream into it.
And I should be able to win with Eternatus. Actually, I'm just going to Max Lightning this thing. And fake out that. If it's Scarf, it's, it's just gone. Yeah, it's probably Scarf. Goodbye. Oh, they connect to Hurricane. Don't confuse me. Thank you. Pretty sure Thunderbolt would have done more. And there's the Defiant. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I can just go ahead and um, Max Lightning you. Go for the parting shot on you. Are they going to go for another Hurricane? Roost? That's fine. This is still going to do a ton. Yeah. All right, I'm going to double it this turn with a with a flare blitz. Roost tells me they probably don't have protect. Maybe they do. Yep. That doesn't that doesn't scream protect at me. So this should do it. I'm pretty confident this KOs. It did not. Shame on me. Dude, what if I lose this? <laughs> no way. Alright, like I said, I don't think that protect. I'm gonna just double this um, with a Dynamax Cannon. Actually, is Sludge Bomb optimal? I think Sludge Bomb's optimal, because it's a lot better versus the Incineroar since I'm locking myself in. That static was a little bit annoying. Thunder, hello? Oh, they connected that? Hello? In the sun, sir? All right, that thing's gone. Even if they snarl me, I still have a chance to poison and such. So, oh no, now it's just a neutral sludge bomb. And that's great. So their damage output's nerfed pretty bad. That's why I didn't go for Dynamax Cannon. I didn't want to end up losing to uh, not having enough PP. All right, Sludge Bomb. Crit, poison, anything really. Throat chop, that's gonna hurt. Uh, not that much, actually. Let's just, I, I just click this twice and I win. Nice, only had to click it once. Man, she going buy a lottery ticket after that. 